There is outrage in Alabama as an illegal immigrant from Guatemala is charged in a fatal hit and run. Investigators saying the 16 year old suspect was previously apprehended in 2017, two years ago, but was released when he claimed asylum. The victim, Sonia Jones, was a mother of two at a Christian school. She was also a teacher there. And our next guest says enough is enough, demanding action on border security now. He joins me now, Alabama Congressman and Senate candidate Bradley Byrne. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. It's good to be with you. Thank you. Tell us what happened to this teacher, to this mother. It's just a terrible tragedy. She's minding her own business, driving her car. This 17-year-old illegal immigrant runs into her and kills her. He tries to leave the scene of the accident. He's so injured he can't. They apprehend him. And now we find out that he came into this country illegally, obviously, then claimed asylum. And like so many people, he tried to game the system. When he had a court date for his asylum claim, he didn't show up. And now this happens. This is why the president is so insistent that we build the wall and that we change our laws so that these sorts of incidents don't happen to innocent American citizens. And he is only 16 years old. You have said that this is a, every state's a border state. It's not a problem just at the border. Explain Absolutely. That. Well, look what happened in Mobile, Alabama, well away from the Mexican border. By the way, we've had two rapes by illegal immigrants in the northern part of Alabama. It doesn't matter where you live in America. These people can come into our country and harm us. Now, he came across as a minor. We've heard a lot about minors. Well, minors can cause harm. Minors can cause death. We need to have a system that protects everybody in America, and that means building a wall changing our law so that people like him can't game the system and harm you and me. Is this why you supported the president's veto yesterday? Absol absolutely. This was a no-brainer. By the way, the vote was not close. There was no way they were going to override this veto. But they had the vote anyway. For what? We're wasting time on meaningless votes like this instead of supporting the president and getting the money to him so he can build this wall. Right. So if these incidents don't tell us anything, it should tell us we have a solemn responsibility in Washington to protect our citizens. And we failed this family and the friends of this dear woman who obviously did not deserve this. No, we no. need to do something about this and Her do it now. kids' lives are changed forever. Her whole family's life. Congressman Byrne, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good to be with you.